So the last few weeks before we leave South Africa. Welcome to Sailing Lady Africa. I'm Ricky and this is my wife Simone. After two years of hard work on our boat, she's finally ready to take us from South Africa across the Atlantic to the Bahamas. Be sure to join in our adventures by subscribing down below. Long prior to being on our 21 day lockdown here in South Africa, we traveled up to Mozambique to visit Ricky's mom and brother. We got to explore Mozambique and the rawness that it provided, from buying fresh garangueja, which is crab, peixe, which is fish, and some amazhoa, which is clam, along with some salad items for our seafood feast for the next few days. On our way back home, we just had to stop for Mozambique's infamous coconuts that they sell on the side of the road. They cut it there and then for you with a straw and away you go. Come on. Obrigado, eh? Sipping pina coladas. That's not a pina colada. <laughs> Half raw coconut. Well, not ripen, yeah. The coconut water juice. Yeah, but it's not gone white yet. It's still yeah. clear. So it's like coconut water. Yeah, it's like yeah. coconut water, yeah. It's coconut water. Oh, this one's still very, very nice. Now that's the good part in it. Check that fresh, so it's like fresh, soft coconut. It's a good part. Simone loves this part. She's like, yeah. And he cut a little, he cut us a little spoon. That's a good soft one, eh? That's freaking nice. They're not that sweet, though. But it's, it's pretty sweet, but. It's but nice. It's not like. But it's good. Okay. Papagai. 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 Begin. Beginning. Garopa fresca. Yeah. Mozambique has such amazing and diverse food culture, and it's great to enjoy it and support the local markets. So we are my brother's offices. We're gonna go hopefully have lunch with him. We're still trying to get used to this heat, yeah. So this is my brother. <laughs> he's normally never quiet. <laughs> yeah, he's normally never quiet. And put this thing camera in his face and yeah. he doesn't say anything. How's that orange juice? It's, good. it's not good. It's freaking amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's natural orange juice. The next day we took our road trip from Atola to Ponta do Ouro as Ricky's brother Claudio booked us a nice vacation spot to go have fun and go diving. We had arrived and checked in and then it was time for some off-roading. We deflated the tires and it was time to rock and roll, literally. The exchange was, if he could take us off-roading, then he'll go diving with us. So we're taking my brother? Our baby boy is going for his first swimming lesson. He's going for his first swimming lesson. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got this course which is like Discover Scuba. 
and it literally means that you kind of just get a course one day and the next day you do a dive with an instructor by you the whole time and uh, you only go to like i think 10 meters or whatever so that's way better than us going on our own dive at least we can share it with my brother now and i think it'll be a cool experience while claudio learns to scuba be sure to subscribe below if you haven't already and don't forget to give us a thumbs up it's a free way you can support our production Class was done and it was time to hit the big blue. I'm a traveling spirit, I've seen many shores From the West Pacific to the island of Kenya They treat me like a son anywhere I go And even though no one can tell, I still feel that I How was that? Bomb diggity. It was good, eh? What's that? It's a We enjoyed the last bit of time we had in Ponta before we were back on a plane heading back to Cape Town and to the boat to be greeted by more family to say more goodbyes. So the last few weeks before we leave South Africa, spending some time with family and saying our, our see you laters. Just going out for the day and taking taking my dad and Annie Voda and Simone's mom to go have breakfast in front of one of these nice anchorages that are here. Representing a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Flat day. It's gonna pick up to a southeasterly 10 15 knots. Maybe gusting 20. That's what the forecast says, but um so they have a nice little sail back. A little Danny. Catching a tan up front. <laughs> the ladies in the back. He's having fun. Oh yes, it's lovely. I'm <laughs> gonna join you guys. So Shimoni? Yes, Ricardo. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling like a rocket too. We need to spend time with family and it's good. I like it. Look at that. <laughs> hey Dad, you're only on for dear life. <laughs> <laughs> Pull on the fish! Pull on the fish! It's coming. <laughs> I talk to him and tell me now. He's going to the meat. I still feel that I'm alone. So we anchored here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that toast is on fire. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah off the Cape Town. Got Ricky making some breakfast. Yeah, waiting for breakfast from our younger kids. Simone's set up the table. Let's go have a little breakfast. Leave me stranded, I know how to handle it all on my own. On my own. Driving through Cape Town made us fall more in love with this place, which makes it just a bit more tougher to say goodbye. We found ourselves stopping at Kirsten Bosch Botanical Gardens. We could have easily spent the whole day here. It was absolutely beautiful.
guess I did let you down And I wake up staying And out too late Trying to start over new What I wanted to be Never came to me We also got to see some beautiful king proteas. Fun fact, this is South Africa's national flower. We then headed down to Hout Bay and met Mr. Brown, one of the resident seals. How long do you have to live? 25 years. So the crazy story about Mr. Brown and the guy that's with him. So Mr. Brown's a seal, and is that as a as a pup, um, I don't know if he caught him or had him around and kept on feeding him until the pup kind of got tame to him. And now they've ever since then they've been buddies and whatnot, and kind of become a little bit of a tourist attraction. And Mr. Brown, the seal, never goes out to sea. He kind of swims around, yeah, but comes back to the owner. That's that's what he says. We don't know how true it is. And um, so I suppose you could give him something if you guys are in the area, come check it out. And uh, maybe give him some money so he can keep on feeding the seal. Um, if that's what they do, the seal is like 18 years old and seems to be well looked after. And yeah, so we're in Hout Bay at the moment. It's freaking stunning here. You know, it feels like there's real history to this place and kind of got like a background story to it. Stunning clear water and um, amazing fishing community that, that lies here. Let's go check it out. Stay tuned till next week where we explore Hout Bay and have the great idea to hike one of the new seven wonders of nature, Table Mountain. If you'd like to contribute to our production, you can do so by joining our awesome patron family or make a one-time donation via PayPal. The links are in the description below.